Hi folks, welcome back to Conan Exiles, and this is uh, another video in the Tricks and Tips series. And in this video, we're going to discuss the the fairy feat of the Witch Doctor. And when you learn to be a Witch Doctor, you're then able to raise the dead and uh, create yourself some rather interesting pets. So the the feat itself is learned in this area, which is just behind me here which, if we zoom in on the map, is known as the Summoning Place, rather fittingly. So, it's a, a large Defari camp, and you can see it's like the head of the Yog. You can see the Yog Temple in there, so it's, it's also a good location for trying to get Yog Archpriests. But it's got lots of Defari guarding the... They're all pretty low level, so they're not that difficult to kill, but there's just a lot of them, so you just have to be a bit careful. So we're going to... We'll, we'll head in from the side so we don't pull everything at once, and we'll work our way in, and I'll show you where to get the... the feet. So it's just an archer one. See? Archers. And although it's morning and it's bright light, you can see the further you go in the place it starts getting darker. So you certainly want to be careful if you're coming in here later on in the day because it gets very dark once the... See how dark it's getting here? Carefully, I'm just for me, and I've got a Delincia with me as well. Once you get up, up the stairs to this main square, you want to turn right and go up the stairs here. Okay, so you've come up the stairs, and just over here, you've got this little wind chime, a little cooking pot, and this book on the floor here. Click on that, you learn the new feat, Witch Doctor. Which right, I suppose. There we go. So, Witch Doctor allows you to make corrupted bone, 
corrupted bone is then used to make unstable animations, stable animations, undead kappa, undead hyena, and undead astrosity. And we'll discuss all of them once we once we get back. But in order to make any of them, you need corrupted bone. And corrupted bone is made using bone, funnily enough. And um, powder of corruption. And there's some powder of corruption. So we'll take that as well. And there's some bone. But you can get bone from any human animal. But these chests all around the the what is this summoning place have there's a little relic here. Anything in there? Combustion language. We'll learn that. Uh, any more chests? So, a bunch of chests all around here, so we'll just one, work our way around getting all the powder out of these chests. Some more. Grab some other bits and bobs as well. Uh, this is where you can get the... Oh, so there's a witch doctor, which is an alchemist. So I guess it's, a, yeah, it's equivalent to a named alchemist, so... But in that very spot, that's where you can get Yog Priests. There's the Pit of Yog. Um, and you get... What's this? Other new emotes. Kneel, pray, sitting by Yog. Okay, a couple of emotes. Hey, but yeah, you can get an Archpriest for Yog spawn there. It's not a cook, yeah. Guarding that chest. Who are you? Yep. Aha. Medicine Man 2 is as a cool little alchemist 2. Oh, hello. Here. Learn cooking six and specialist cooking one. More chests in the back. More powder. One powder. There we go. So I think, I think that's all the chests. Uh, if you also go down to the Sulker's End, the big Defari camp before the dregs down to the bottom west end of New River, there is chest down there that gets it, but I think you actually get more from just clearing out this. So, there we go. Uh, I think there is another, there's something else to learn just down here. Yep. Spank emote. done. I'll see you back at base where we'll start actually crafting something. Okay, we're back home at base again, so let's go and craft up some corrupted bone. And that is done in the firewall cauldron. So in here, we'll put the powder in. So we've got the bone and the powder. We've now got this recipe available to us here and because we've got 21 21 powder we can craft 21 corrupted bone so let's leave that to craft up to bone crafted up so we're going to take that and we're going to take that to our alchemist bench so in my case that's down into the dungeons Right, so I've got a variety of materials in here, um, but in your crafting section, after learning the Witch Doctor feat, you can 
have these options. So a stable animation and a stable animation. So I'm actually crafting one at the moment because they, they, they take like six hours to craft. So take a while to craft. Um, that can have a chance of being a skeleton, a skeletal warrior, a silent legion warrior or a white. Uh, unstable animations have got mainly a chance of just being a skeleton uh, but they've got a chance of becoming the unstable skeleton which is a uh, it's a skeleton it's only got like one or two HP but when anybody hits it it explodes into a like noxious cloud of gas so I guess you can use them as uh, defenses more than anything else uh, you can create an undead monstrosity which is the serpent men and then you've got undead hyena and undead kappa shaleback so to make the undead hyena you need corrupted bone and an undead hyena head uh, the easiest place to get undead hyena heads is from around the sinkhole on the map uh, where is the sinkhole over here no nope, no nope. it's down here somewhere isn't it there it is, sinkhole down there. So next to the summoning place, round the corner, there's a big hole with an undead dragon in the bottom of it, and all round the edge of there is a undead hyena, and there is a summoning obelisk right here. So they're they're pretty easy to craft. The kappa, um, kappas are a bit harder because the demonic shield back head. The only place I've encountered them is either in the Warmaker dungeon or the you get them in the Wine Cellar dungeon, uh, both of which are quite hard dungeons. So I guess you need to be relatively high level to be able to go in and get them. I, I've I've never seen a demonic shale back anywhere else, but if you know different, please let me know in the comments. It would be much appreciated. Uh, stable animation, weathered skulls. So weather skulls drop off of skeletons, so it has lots of skeletons around the map, um, inside the dregs, um, at the steps of uh, Kale's stronghold, there's steps out here with skeletons on them. Uh, again, around the sinkhole, there is camps over here on the, the east side um, that have got skeletons in them, so loads of places to get the weather skulls for skeletons. Uh, the Skeletal Serpent Man heads that you need to craft the Undead Monstrosity. Uh, they pretty much, I think, are exclusively inside the Undead City. There are both normal ones in here as well as the boss ones, so you can get them off the normal ones, no problem at all. Uh, they're very easy to fight and chop their heads. Uh, but I guess the most expensive thing to make is a stable animation because it needs, as well as the, the bone and the skulls, it needs alchemical base and fragments of power. And fragments of power drop off of bosses. So you need one to make it, but the problem is that it's a, there's a chance of which of the four varieties of, and you might get a, a lowly skeleton, which are pretty poor. Uh, but I've crafted... I'm crafting a stable animation at the moment. It, like I say, it takes six hours to, to craft. You get a bit of reduction time if you've got a named alchemist going on, but it's still got to take a while. Uh, and then after that, I'll queue up a, an undead monstrosity. And I'll let these all craft up. I, I think I've pretty much got the whole set uh, outside, but once these are all completed, I'll take you outside and I'll show you the individual creatures and how how they all compare okay back soon right oh we're back the next day so let's see what we got in unstable animation so we got the skeleton so that's low the lowest level of all the stable animations but okay I'll go and set that up and I'm going to show you all the different versions of undead creatures that we can get as a witch doctor Okay, we're outside now and I've got the whole lot of them lined up against the base here. So there we can see the first creature, the undead hyena. Absolutely disgusting looking. Look at those eyes. But also 531 health at 
level zero, so not exactly the strongest creature in the world either, but might get better if you level it up, I guess. Second, we've got the Undead Kappa, very similar to the Hyena. Um, I did do some leveling of this. This starts off at, I think it's about 730 HP at level zero, and at level five, it's gone up to 1571, so again, not brilliant. However, does have 10 slots, so it can be used for going out and gathering runs. Next we have the Undead Monstrosity. This is probably my favourite of all of them. Uh, also 10 slots. So this, I have one of these that I actually use. What was its health there? So 1,282 HP at level 0. I've got one of these that I use as my gathering companion. Just to go out and gather stone or iron or whatever. Who's level, I think level 6 and got 2,500 HP. And has more than enough damage to cope with anything around this Sepamaru area. Here can easily hold his own and carry a lot of stuff from it. On to the stable animations. So the lowest of the lot is the skeleton, which rather interestingly gives you its human form when you look at the character. Massive HP pool of 315. So not very much at all. 22 armor, so yeah, it's not going to really do much for you at all. But, spooky looking. Then we have the Skeletal Warrior. Bigger version. 440 HP. 29 armor. Again, at least it has a proper model here. Not great. White. Looks cool. A couple of these around your base at night time especially look amazing. And start with 617 HP, so you can actually level them up relatively decently. And finally, the Legion Warrior. Starts with 1,382, so this is the best of them all. Uh, got some 139 armor on them as well. So these, these could possibly be leveled up to be pretty decent, so I'll have to give them a try. Do have to point out, though, that... Although they've got inventory slots, they don't have armor or weapon slots. So they, they come with what they've got and that's it. You can boost their armor by increasing their agility using using food, but you can't actually give them different armor or different weapons to increase their, their damage or their resilience at all. But yeah, that's the various creatures you get from the, the Witch Doctor feat and how you got the Witch Doctor feat. So, although most of them are, are not great, they, they're a bit of fun and it's, uh, it's particularly good to rock up on some new players down the Noob River with an undead monstrosity or a, or a white or one of these skeletal warriors or something like that. Gives them all a bit of a scare, I'm sure, because they've never seen such a thing before. But hey, other than that, not much, not much going for them. But yeah, alright, thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a like and hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now!